just on the roof. We thought we'd had a pigeon die of lead poisoning and uh, on the roof, but can't find it, so I don't know what's happened. Just in the wheat shed now, checking all the fans and the temperatures are all okay. We've got these in that read back to us on the computer. It's always worthwhile just checking that none of them have tripped off or anything like that. Checked all the sheds now, to be fair. Some of them have tripped off, so I'm glad I've seen that. Anyway, David's on his way. Uh, David with the quad tracks, the mint quad tracks, and we're going to do a recce of the route for the tracks run just to make sure that we're definitely going to fit the quad track round there. And if we are, he's going to send one up for the tracks run, which would be absolutely amazing. For anyone that doesn't know what a quad track is, makes the Zerion look small. David's yard is absolutely immaculate, and I was just looking at ours and the potholes, a, a huge game. It's what, a week or so since Andrew leveled it off with the digger, and they're already back again, so I'm going to level them off a little bit, make the yard look a little bit more presentable. Starting to look a little bit more presentable as well. A few less potholes. This time of year, it's just constantly wet and we've not even had frost yet, but frost normally breaks the yard up. But hopefully, fingers crossed, we might be able to get a grant towards concrete and some of it, which will make it a bit easier and easier to keep clean as well. Uh, loads of people were saying that that class telehandler didn't whine like the Merlots. I don't know what it is, but the camera microphone really picks it up. The transmission wine in these and you don't really hear it when you're driving them but it just must be a frequency that the, the microphones and iphones seem to pick up in europe most of the yards are block paved and they sort of free drain and then if you get a sinkhole or you've got to put a cable across you just lift the bricks up and then put them back down again and they look really smart but i don't understand it it, it can't be more expensive than concrete over there so it must just be different countries have different cheap raw materials to make it because over here it's the norm to have concrete or tarmac not so much tarmac on farmyards because tractor tires will screw it up but block paving you think it'd be expensive over here but over there it's obviously cheaper than concrete and you can repair it easier so last night i was at that charity do with tom pemberton and pete marcus as you remember off scrap kings and i bought tom pemberton's book but he signed it I've signed it. I'm going to get a load more other people to sign it. I'm going to sell it on eBay for charity to raise some more money for the, what they were raising for last night at Pete's Do. Anyway, they raised 100,000 quid last night, so it was a great night. There's a little clip of me buying the book. Right, now, we're we'll Tom Pemberton. Come on, Tom. <laughs> some of you will know this fella. Tom Pemberton, fans very welcome to here. He's... 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 He's massive on the YouTube, he's now on telly. This will be your next country file presenter, mark my words. And he's written a book. Well, he hasn't written it because he's written the right, it's about as good as mine. But someone's written a book for him. So, anyway, he's going to sign this book to you for someone. This man will be, maybe not world famous, but country famous in the not too distant future. Someone wants a retail for his book. Right, it's generally 20 quid, one double up, 50 quid, 50 pound, 60 anywhere, 60, it's going to start 60, Ollie, 60, Ollie, 70 anywhere, 70, over there, why are you bidding against one another, 70, 80, 80, 80, 90, right, story, 100, 90, 100, 110, Ollie Addison. 200, 200 minutes for Jenny Gooch. Jenny, fire in there. Jenny, Gooch. 200, it's over there. Are you all done right? Give Jenny a book for 200, Tom will sign that. Who was the 150? Was it you, there? One to 90. There, behind the pink ring, who was 120? 120, Ali Harrison. And Mark Storer, that's for four of them, my friend. So you're going to Jenny. Put your hands on people in more books. Tom will come to you inside him now. Yeah, so there we go. So I'm going to get Joe to sign it, a few others to sign it on Wednesday because we're doing this thing with AHDB. But also, it's really mild, it's 12 degrees. This time last year, it was snowing when we left that same charity do, and we drove up to Scotland, me and Charlotte, in the snow. But this year, it's uh, it's 12 degrees, and it's actually, I've got my coat on, but I'm not even got it zipped up, because it's 
it's so mild. So we don't know what the temperature is like where you are in the world or in the UK, but I think today is really warm for a, a late November. It always snows the end of November because when it used to be the RAC rally, it always used to be snowing when the RAC rally was on. Anyway, that'd be this weekend really, or next. Andrew's uh, got his matching coat on to wash his tractor. He's just been doing some stone crushing. Got a video of it as well. I'll show you now. Just editing now and I don't normally have any outtakes whatsoever apart from today I could not pronounce a certain word and pretty much give up so here is here's five seconds of outtakes that you never normally see that's a Hampson gap <laughs> that Hampson look at that handsome guy bit of a shadow anyway yeah, it's gone dark so we're gonna put the buggy in the uh, workshop to do the birthday bumper I've driven the route on the tractor on, it's 28.1 miles, it took an hour and 35 minutes in the car but we obviously had to stop at traffic lights. Uh, on the night we won't have to stop at traffic lights because the police will be with us but we will be going a lot slower than we were in the car so I reckon it's going to take two and a half to three hours the route. Anyway, good news is the quad track will fit through all of the junctions and there's no, there's nothing going to get in the way because it's an oversized track so David is kindly going to put it on a low loader and fetch it up so we're going to have a huge 600 horsepower quad track up the tractor run which is going to look amazing if anyone that doesn't know what a quad track looks like then I'll show you a picture of it now again just in case you've forgotten there we go bit of daylight inside the workshop as we do the birthday bumper so Jack Bowen is 33 Alice Cox is 1 17,403 pound raised so far absolutely amazing Kerry Bruce. Now, I don't know if that's a spelling mistake, but it's supposed to be Gabby, but I don't know. There, uh, anyway, uh, Henry Thompson is 10 as well. So, happy birthday. Every, is it 10 or 16? I can't read my own writing. Sorry if you're 16 and I've just said you're 10, but there we go. Happy birthday, everyone on there and anyone else whose birthday is. Don't forget, scan that QR code now or click the link under every single video. I still get at least two or three messages every day asking how to put someone on the birthday bumper. So I presume that the people that ask are the people that don't watch the videos, putting them on for someone that does watch the videos. So if you do watch the videos and it's your birthday and you've tipped someone off to do the birthday bumper, explain somewhere to find the link. Because if people message me and I don't see the message, then it ends up being the next day and it's missed. So yeah, it's a link underneath every single video. And that's the easiest way to find it. We thought we'd put a little bit of snow on the boat, you can see what it looks like. On the tractor run, we should have that on the back of this, just blasting in people's faces. <laughs> there we go. Put the wiper on now, wipe the snow off. Due to popular demand, Andrew has took the loader off his tractor. Everyone kept saying, why doesn't he take the loader off? So he took it off. See the reflectors on the wheels? Looks cool. See when you put it reverse, it puts the lights on the back automatically. When he puts it forward, it comes off. But it looks tiny without the, the loader on. Do you think? Whoa, blinded. Yeah, it looks like about three foot smaller, like a short bonnet, especially compared to the fast track. Now, what's your favourite track to the Nemo or the fast track? Let us know underneath. What's your favourite fast track or the Valtra? It's a tough choice, I think. That's it anyway for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you want a space on the track run, be quick. I'm not just sure how many spaces are left, but if you email festivefarmers at agricontract.com, there might be some places left. And we're also going to have a reserve list as well. So the link's below the video of the email address. Uh, you might get fed up of hearing about the track run, but it takes up quite a bit of planning and a bit of time. And we're actually going to get started, getting some tractors ready this week. But anyway, 
that's just uh, something to do on an arable farm in the winter because we don't have cows to feed. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh yeah, actually one last thing. Don't forget the Real Country File is now live. There's also a link below this video to see that. So go and check that out as well. So see you tomorrow.